All right, now this is the big one. Ian reads Anthony's angry letter. I've been waiting for this 50 minutes. I'm not going to be pausing. Let's get it. Uh, I guess for a little bit of background, in a video they made, they said if they got so many likes, they would, he would, Anthony would read his letter, and now Ian's going to read it, and now Ian's probably going to leave Smosh, damn it. Whenever you're ready. <sighs> so one of the very first videos that Ian and oh. I shot after announcing that we bought Smosh was, was an episode of Two Truths, One Lie here on the Smosh Pit channel. And one of the truths that I mentioned as potentially setting Ian up to think it was a lie was that I wrote an angry letter to Ian a month after I left Smosh. And it was actually the truth. And Ian, you were like, hey, how about I read that thing? And I kind of didn't really put too much thought to the fact that if you read it, it could change everything. <laughs> it could, you could, you could decide that you would be the one to leave Smosh next. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I agreed to. Do I it hope he says some crazy shit. The video, then we changed it to two hundred fifty thousand likes. He should have changed it to a million likes. Honestly, bro. I was like, maybe that's gonna be a difficult thing to hit. I didn't yeah. know because we should have went for a million. Announcement actually went out to the public. Mm. I didn't know that the response about all of this would just be. So huge. Yup. So my we, expectations were unfortunately a little bit too low for what I thought. I'm definitely not playing yeah, fake right now. Yeah, and we had likes in 14 hours. Yes. Five hundred sixteen thousand already. Yeah, bro, yeah. I went for a million. a million, we have to look at each other's dicks. Hey, we didn't. We did not shake on that one. Okay. And if we do see each other's dicks, you better not be shaking anything else. Um. So they probably see each other's dicks before, anyway. So you, 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 you. Apparently, you looked at the journal after. Yeah, I looked at it again because there was the possibility of just cutting out mm. me saying, "Hey, if we reach this goal." Oh yeah. Because it was like, of course, it's a very personal thing. It, you know, it was coming from a really vulnerable place. I was getting my emotions out that I was holding on to. After I left Smosh, actually. True. What if he says something fucking <laughs> crazy? I was holding on to all these emotions, and because you and I were so passive aggressive, we never bothered to speak about it with each other. Yep. I don't think I even really spoke about it with anyone. Mm. And damn, we're getting my exclusive. Recommended that I write it down just to get it out, so I wouldn't keep ruminating on these yeah. things. So I reread it, and I was like, you know what? You know, this is a really vulnerable thing. And, you know, it's funny, since then, the comments on the video is like, what? Don't do that. That's a vulnerable thing. Don't put that out to the public. That's crazy. This is just yeah. for you. Yeah. Which is true. All, uh, very valid. But Damn, I feel a whole like ass it could notebook, be good bro. to get all these things out in the open. You know, like, like we mentioned in the episode, I feel like I've completely grown. I feel like all the issues that I had, I just want to preface this, all the issues that I had, I... have either realize He's trying to let him down lightly completely absurd uh, beliefs that I had come to the conclusion of on my own <clears throat> and because I'd never spoken about it with you I just assumed it was fact yeah. so there's a lot of things in here that I say as if it's fact when it is not fact and I have grown beyond it and I've learned that a lot of the issues I had are actually my own issues and not issues damn with you. okay so before you read it <laughs> I can't believe you're actually going to read this. Do you have any initial thoughts or ideas about what kind of things I might be writing about? I have no idea. Not at all. No. Ian I mean, like, sucks. Okay. Like, I mean, like, I, I'm guessing, like, there's going to be, like, Defy stuff <laughs> and, like, things that, like, we, I don't know. Like, we we didn't know how to communicate before. Like, we, like, we, we were so focused on, like, you know, smosh mm -hmm. that I think we, we put our uh, friendship very low on the priority list of like things to nurture. Damn. So I suspect it's going to be related to that. You think I'm mostly going to be talking about Defy? No, but oh boy, because <laughs> that's not right. No, okay. <laughs> no, I, I don't have any. I don't have any specific. I don't have any specific uh, guesses. The fact that you don't have any guesses really shows how little you communicate with me. <laughs> I thought about this a lot. I will let okay. you read it. Okay. 
and then I will kind of, you know, I think you'll know when to stop, but I feel like it'll be best if I kind of interject to talk about okay. what I was feeling when I was writing it, why I came okay. to those conclusions, and how I've grown mm. and what I've realized either about myself or about you. The character yeah. development arc. Okay, great. And at the end, I have something for you. You're going to show him his Did dick? Did you write me a letter too? Guess you're going to have to see. It's going to be his fucking dick. Okay. Um, I'm very scared now. I thought this was just, <laughs> I thought this was me in the seat of power. Uh, no, I brought I brought something as well. Okay. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Okay. Yeah, oh, it'll be fun. fun. Good. Yeah. It's his penis. All right. So I guess has to be. Okay. Right. You really want it, don't you? You keep putting your hand out, but I really don't want to give it up. Okay. All right. You know. He's what? gonna open That's to like one of the pages. He didn't tell him. Okay. It's just All gonna right. be crazy. Promise me you won't leave Smosh after. Do I have to? Promise me that you won't. I won't leave. leave. Oh, I just saw my brother outside. That was kind of crazy. Okay. I, I don't, don't normally have my window open. Well, I mean, streams. that could be negotiated between our lawyers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah because we don't speak directly unless we're on camera. Exactly. True. Yeah. That was actually the old us. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. If there are any issues that arise, we will discuss it. Yes. Like, like civilized adults, goddammit. I agree. Okay, here you go. Oh, it's in your hands. It's in your hands. All right, here we go. Okay, wait, what's the Ian date? has a little cock. What? August I did 24, 2017. Okay, so it was two months. Okay. And Damn. 10 days after I left so much. Bro knows the exact date? That's fucking crazy. Which I don't know the date off the top of my head just like that. I had to look oh. it up for our Smosh reunion shirt, okay? Okay. Um, well, it starts out pretty, pretty... Nice. Okay, you already read it. Which has mind. me like scared. Read it out loud. <laughs> read it out loud. <laughs> All right, read it, read it out loud. Oh, he didn't see me. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, it's very personal. Okay. Go. I feel like I'm like getting on a roller coaster. You know when you get on a really scary roller coaster and you have that moment of like, I should just not get on this ride. Because and then you're and then you start. So I feel watching like, this video. It's peaceful now, but I know it's not gonna last yeah. for very long. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Ian. Hello, old time friend. I have Yo, a lot to bro's say talking to like a villain. That has been that has remained unsaid for many years. Oh my goodness. First, I just want to thank you for being such a great friend to me in my very fragile teenage years. Oh no. I came from a broken home with very little money and no means to explore the world outside of suburban Carmichael. You introduced me to your loving family who welcomed me. <laughs> and loved me with open arms. They helped me travel and showed me a way of life I had not been exposed to. You personally were supportive and overall were oh, a no. really good friend to It's me. starting <laughs> so <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, I don't know, it's making me tear up a little bit. Like it's so vulnerable to like, to know that I really didn't think anyone would ever see this. Yeah. Um, yeah. Really good, were a really good friend to me who I felt I could share anything with. Oh, no. I'm not sure why, but something changed. I feel <laughs> no. our best friendship ended around 2009. And Damn. a resentment started growing between us. I started feeling a judgment in the tone of your voice. A sense of hostility Damn. in your actions. Yeah, my writing is a little sloppy. There might be some oh. tears on there that you have to wipe. Did I do something that upset you? Did I treat you poorly? Holy shit. Did I make you feel insignificant? Downplay the importance you held in our company and imply you were not just as responsible for our success as me. Look at the mustache, man. I mean, hey, I asked you some questions. Now maybe I can get an answer. Hmm. Oh. I mean, I, I suspect, I suspect that, um, Wait, are you reading this or is this you, your thoughts? No, sorry. sorry. Oh. Yeah. Wait, you don't know this? <laughs> I was you like, don't know this? Um, well, I mean, I suspect that we're going to get into it further that certain, like, relationships that we have might have had an effect. Hmm. Um, this is so weird. So, it feels like I'm watching, like, a TV show. Oh, God. Um, like an episode of Dr. Phil. Sense of judgment in the tone of my voice. Hostility in my actions. I don't Hostility. 
A little bit, like resentful, like frustration. Huh. And okay. I don't know if that perfectly aligns with the years or whatever. Yeah. 2009, though. Well, I felt like our best friendship. Yeah. Kind of, like, so this is two years oh, after my me. My mustache first. doing that. Uh, but one, one, one year. Um, yeah, I think I, I felt like we no longer shared everything with each other uh -huh. at that point. And I think it really was mm. that we were working so many hours that yeah. we would hang out. And then finally, when we were done, it was like ah, some alone time. Yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. when before our time together, we were just hanging out, right, and communicating, and I feel like it just became so much about focus on the work, focus on the work. Yeah, all that free time that we normally would use to like hang out, that kind of became the method to which we created new content, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I think the rate at which we had to put out content. Mm -hmm. uh, turned all of that free yeah i'm still playing fgo yeah and it was around that time that we launched um well normally i play so games while watching channel shows long and videos yeah. anyways on oh shit i totally forgot my bad i i totally forgot this is a fucking normal video not like a loud ass song the time that or an unmixed we movie launched, uh the small there we book, go. which used to be a section of the website with Articles yeah. and all that, and mm -hmm. you and it I is kind of low in general, anyways. Up but at least we got it. Yeah, it we can. Let me know if that's good. It was, just, it was such a waste of our time, but mm -hmm. it was so much time that I think that by the time that we were done yeah. working on this stuff, I was like, "Cool, I'm gonna go sit in my room alone and like do my yeah. best." <laughs> yeah. So that probably contributed a little bit to just that feeling. I don't know if it was actually any yeah. hostility, but you always. I think it's I always the way to go. Play time. a game and listen to Getting a long ass video. Hostility, but probably video judgment. USA. I, I could see there's like, like I, I I think that I was generally a pretty like judgmental person, mm. and like I think that you know I think that that kind of like it would come out in a lot of the comedy that that we would write too, like like judge like judgment. Of like something, and oh. I think, and I think I also like viewed like people through that same lens. You mean just like the uh, jokes that you would make would be like, oh, that's kind of dumb. Oh, that's kind of dumb. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. While we're making smosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, Damn. let's just let's very let's high keep, horse. Let's keep moving. I feel okay. like um, yeah. yeah. Okay, I know I struggle with many things, and I'm so sorry mm. if I ever put you through emotional turmoil in order to fulfill my own quota of self-importance. You could do this I don't think I was ever put through emotional t turmoil. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I kind of get I don't think... Like, I just think as people, Ian's definitely more, like, a closer to, like, how, how I am, so I can kind of see it from his point of view in terms of, like, even if you feel some type of way about something, you don't, like... I don't want to say this in a way that sounds bad, but, like, you don't express your feelings as uh, openly, even if it, like... Like, Anthony's very uh, open about how vulnerable he is and his emotions. Yes. Let me mute real quick. All right, so yeah, the Ryan cameo. I should have. I, I you know what I gotta start doing? I gotta get the the sound effects like the fucking sitcom. Woo! So like when when people come in, it's like a guest. Woo! This is, um, oh, he was asking me if I had stole his energy drink, which yes I did, and he's going to McDonald's. But like I, I Anthony is a very in tune with his emotions, very emotional person, which is good, and it's also fine to be like Ian, who like recognizes the emotions. But it doesn't necessarily feel as deeply about them as other people. Because it's kind of how I am. Like, I have emotions, whatever. But, like, this is not how I... I don't know. I don't even know if I'm making sense. So, But I get it. I get it. 
<laughs> I don't think I would have recognized if I was being put through emotional turmoil. That doesn't mean that you weren't being put through it. Oh, maybe. I'm an android. <laughs> that just might mean that you were shutting things off. Probably. Uh, yeah. Quota of self-importance. Yeah. Bro's using big ass <laughs> words. I think Quota is not a big I word. I'm stupid. Had self-esteem issues. Okay. And the way that I remedied that was by feeling like I was super important. And when Got you're part it. of a duo, yeah, you know, I felt like I was more important the more that I felt like I was the reason for X, Y, and Z. Right. With the success, with the ideas, with the direction, mm. with the leadership, all those Damn. things. So I think I started to inflate my own ego about my own importance. Got it. Okay. To make up for that boy. So you would do certain things to like justify your importance. I don't think I would do certain things. I think I would just have the idea in my head. Like, oh, okay. like I'm the reason this is successful. Right, okay, okay, mm. cool. Um, I don't think you ever, I, I mean like uh, off the top of my head, I, I mean obviously this stuff happened so long ago, but yeah. I don't think you ever, I can't point It would've been crazy for this video to have happened back then. They would've started yelling or some shit. I would not have wanted to watch okay. that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I necessarily, yeah. well, uh, I do I do still feel like at, at a certain time, okay. I maybe I didn't outwardly belittle you, but I think oh. I just didn't praise you. I think that's a big mm. difference in us reuniting is I am so willing to praise you and mention your strengths. I think yeah. back then, acknowledging your strengths was to me pointing out my own weaknesses mm. because you being good at something in my head at that time meant I was bad at something. Gotcha. So yep. I withheld compliments, I withheld acknowledgement. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. I think I think where, where some of this comes from is like, I think back then we had this, this uh, like uh, uh. idea of like equality. And like we had to be doing equal work, you know. Yeah, and like to justify. I was just tie up on my hair. Yeah. Yeah. equally. Fuck. We're getting you know all that thing. It's like we're a duo. We need to do the same amount of work. Yeah. So I think I think there was probably God damn maybe it. there was some like resentment <laughs> when never when had this one much hair stuck in Thought they were doing more work than the other. Mm -hmm. There we go. In most cases, you were doing more work than me. I was. I, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna tie this all up. Ah. All right, screw this. It's already hot. I don't want hair all over my fucking neck, bro. Yeah, I'm already 15 minutes in. That kind of sped by a little bit. But we still got so much, so much to unpack. Oops, didn't mean to do that. I was doing more <laughs> hours, sure, but okay. I think you were doing more of the creative heavy lifting, which is more taxing in many ways. So I think that you needed your time to recoup your energy because you're coming up with funny stuff. And at that time I was like, I'm doing so much work. Right, it's, uh, yeah, yeah. I think like, yeah, we, we, were, we were so focused on like, how can we do an equal amount of work when like, yeah. what was being required from each of us with each of our skills was totally different. Yeah, it wasn't, we were not, at a certain point, we were not playing. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, the goat. Oh, no, wait, it didn't happen. Fuck, I killed him too fast. Okay, wait. 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 It was yeah. just like the amount of Playing hours. Playing to like what was fair. Yeah, yeah. fair hour wise. Like yeah. With the time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tame so far. Uh, I think so. Yeah, I'm waiting for it to get real bad. Um, <laughs> yeah. I always wanted everything I made to be sure. just that something I made with your help. Mm. Mm. I considered Smosh to be something you were only tagging along for. Damn. And I'm deeply sorry if I ever made you feel like you didn't deserve as much credit as me. You may not have done some of the heavy lifting I did in the early days, but definitely encouraged us to keep going and you kept things light and full of laughs as we did it. 
We accomplished so much, and I am just now realizing how important you were in making that happen. Wait, does this ever actually get like mean to me? Because I feel like <laughs> this is all just saying, this is all just very like affirming to me. It, it, like, it, there's some some mean okay, stuff. Okay, yeah, that's I'm waiting up. for it. I'm waiting yeah. for it because this is just like, yeah. this is just like nice. But that thing that you you read there, yeah, you did, and this was actually um, really nice for me to hear from you. But uh, it was a few days after we had confirmation that we had bought Smosh. Yeah. You came over to my place. We, you know, had a little, mm -hmm. um, what do you want to call that hang? Um, a very celebratory, celebratory, hang. very luxurious. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, very. I, I brought us cigars. We we chilled with cigars yeah. and some whiskey, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we just brought it up. Yep. And you meant you said that to me, what? that exact thing. You what? said. You said, "Hey, I don't think I ever really acknowledged the heavy lifting that you did in the early oh. days." And yeah. And you said that you were really, that you felt really lucky to be there at that time, and that yeah. I included you in that. And that was, it was, it was really nice to hear, even though I know, like. Yeah. I, I think I always, bro, I think Anthony's I always hot. felt like some guilt. I need to, I need to get my, my towards, looks up, man. Like you doing like all this like crazy shit that had to be <laughs> it done. It looks really like, good now too, though. And like, and like you you know, just, we needed well, they both looked goofy as hell. And like, it was always like you that had to do those things because you had that skill set or you had the determination to do that. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, there was, yeah, there was no way that I could do What's that. What's this OST stuff. in the background? This is so, so it was always just like, I would just kind of be like, oh, okay, like I'll just um, I'll be over here or whatever. I'll like come in and give notes or whatever. But. Yeah. But like I don't think I don't think I probably thanked you enough or acknowledged the fact that you did more. Maybe because I was like maybe afraid that if I did acknowledge that you were doing more, then I would need to do more like uh, in return. I don't know. Like yeah, there's there's probably something there where it was just like I think I was just like so obsessed with like this idea of like fairness. Yeah, and I mean, what was fair. isn't it insane to think that if we had just had a conversation and said, hey, I feel like I'm not, you know, I want to do what's fair, but it feels like you're yeah, doing more. Like, right. We couldn't have that conversation, though. If we did, this entire, everything would have been different. Yeah. I have so many ways I've treated you, you that I regret and so many things I wish I could apologize to you for doing. I really wish you'd give me a chance to speak with you. Okay. There are also so many things I wish you would explain to me. I come. told you we did. Yeah, I told right. you. Oh right. no. Oh yeah. no. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Oh, this is going to hurt. Okay. Um, okay. This is when the smiles stop. Uh huh. Um, okay. Why have you consistently made me feel ashamed to be myself in front of you for so many years? Damn. The time I asked you what you thought about my shoes when we were 17. And you told me you thought they were hideous. <laughs> Wait a minute. And Wait I could a minute. Tell Wait a minute. You only said it to hurt my feelings. Well, okay. Can we get a picture of the shoes? Because I ain't gonna lie. If they were ugly, Ian is not in the wrong. Things. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, at the time, I believed that. I don't now think. I, I don't think so. I, think I don't I think so either. Like, I think I you were just being honest. Yeah, I think I. I definitely didn't learn until I was like well into adulthood that like you shouldn't just say things because they're honest. Like, <laughs> you should like you should like sometimes take the person's feelings into consideration yeah. and maybe offer up like not lie to them but but you know offer up a different. I would never lie. That, when it comes to drip, it's satisfactory that you don't lie. Just go and like hurt the person. Yeah, feelings. yeah, and I will be honest. So sure they were was, hideous shoes. They were like well, moccasins. They were like. They were like <laughs> They were moccasin shoes. They were like... Well, they were like boat shoes. They were No, they were indoor, outdoor moccasins, but now I know you really oh, thought boy. about those boat shoes. Oh, yeah, you did have boat shoes for a while. <laughs> I, had boat I, shoes. I probably had boat shoes for a short while. We both moment. had boat yeah. shoes for a while. But the indoor, outdoor moccasins were real rough. But I like them. Yeah. And... Well, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm man. sorry I called your shoes hideous. I, I appreciate that, but also the best part of it is I do not care if you think my shoes are okay. hideous, so that's great. I think those shoes are Damn. nice. Oh, thanks. Very, very basic. Um, oh, the, oh. Um, <laughs> hey, don't read ahead. Sorry. 
Uh, the time you talk shit behind my back on Facebook to the girl we were friends with that I introduced you to. Oh, The amount shit. of things you said behind my back to our high school friends about me and my relationship. The snide remarks you'd make about me being... Oh, I thought that said virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does it say? Vegan. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> about me being virgin. <laughs> um... The, the times you'd make me feel stupid for making any content whatsoever that was not directly Smosh related. The snide remarks about anything I made that put my true emotions out there for the world. I just wish you were better at communicating. I know I'm not any better, but I feel like I've tried with you, tried to break out of my comfort zone and talk about things damn, that make bro. me feel uncomfortable. When we were in... New York for our Ghostmates tour, we got drinks and I opened up about how embarrassed I was that my previous relationship was so obviously bad to the outside world and how naive I was to think I would actually marry someone like that. I was vulnerable and breaking down all my walls and oh no. that you were in favor, but nothing. The conversation was once again one-sided. Am I just horrible to open up to? <laughs> have I made you feel Some uncomfortable people just don't to open have too much up to around me? About, man. Have I made you feel all the ways you've made me feel? Are the ways you treat me nothing but an echo of how I treat you? Am I the, there's a lot of questions. Yeah. Am I the one at fault here? Mm -hmm. Did I create a problem that went way further than the point of no return? I was losing my mind. Is this all because of me? And then you put in all caps right after. Perhaps. <laughs> God damn. I'm just trying to be honest um, to myself. Bro, it's I, mean, I think at, at this point, like, you, like, by the time of, like, Ghostmates, that was. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go! So 2017, 2016. 16. Um, like you opening up to me was, I think, like uncomfortable for me because we had never established that kind of openness before. Mm. So I think, I think that I didn't know how to respond because I was like, where the, where is this coming from? Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't know. That's that's my feeling. I don't think I was. It's like. It's like, I don't know, have you ever like had like a relative that you weren't close to and then all of a sudden they've like tried to get like close with you or yeah, that's suddenly fair. like opened up about something and you're like, that's fair. What is this? Like, I, I think it was, it was probably a similar thing. I can't recall exactly what this, exactly what this was, mm -hmm. but I mean, I know I had a lot of, I know I had a lot of thoughts, but I, I think yeah, I, I think maybe maybe it was coming from a place of like suspicion or yeah, something that's fair. or that's like fair. or like me being cynical or something yeah. like not maybe I didn't maybe I thought you had like a motive like an ulterior motive Ooh. to open up to me since you hadn't opened up before. That's true. And you had no idea how I would respond if you opened up because we never established what that would be like. So yeah. that makes sense. I, I definitely have my walls up for sure. Yeah. And and now, you know, I, as I've grown, I've realized that when I have a conversation with someone, even if I'm opening up, it is not fair to have expectations for the way that you mm. should respond. I think when I was opening right. up, I had this expectation of like. It was like a quid pro quo. Yeah, kind of I was thing. like, I open up, you open up. Yeah. But yeah. now I, I know that if you open up with someone, it doesn't mean that they have to open up back in order for right that conversation or like that transaction to be fulfilled or something. Right, right. Yeah, I definitely wasn't like, I wasn't open to that conversation. Yeah. 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 Um, but now we can talk all sorts of shit about our, our past talk relationships. Talk shit about our past yeah. relationships. <laughs> talk shit about our past selves. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm totally open to that. Okay. Um, oh. Over a cigar this weekend? You know, <laughs> no, let's not smoke too many cigars. <laughs> it's a, you yeah. know, I'm trying to, I felt not like, trying to get gum cancer. Yeah, I felt like I had some damage done to my brain for the next couple of days. You think yeah. so? Well, questionable. Okay. Yeah. I've never right. smoked a cigar. Um, but, but I don't if anything think cool happens in my life, maybe. Friendships I'll do it. Friendships as deep as ours was. I am reaching out to you now as an ex-best friend. 
I want to talk about things and lay them all out, uh, lay them all out there so we can possibly mend things. And if we don't become friends again, at least we could say we tried. But why avoid trying altogether? What are you afraid of? I know I've been calloused in the past, but please give me a chance. I've changed and I'm now a more understanding person. All I ask for you is for you to stop being a f***ing asshole. <laughs> just kidding. Oh, I was just kidding. Ah, <laughs> just kidding. There where it's like I'm yeah. reading it as if I think you're going to receive it? I mean, I was about to say, I, 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 dude, maybe I for you're the oracle. I was going to say, I was he planning to tell um, me this? I had to say it. He, so he said, you f***ing asshole, just kidding. I had to say it. I just want you to treat me with a respect bitch. again. You're ugly. After everything no I've observed just in the past few years, I'm starting to truly oh, believe you may not be a good person anymore. Damn. That's, that's, Yeek. yeah. Yeek. Um, do I even want to know the bitter, grumpy, vengeful person you've become? It, <laughs> is it better that I keep my distance to ensure I don't get even more hurt by you in the future? I feel like you've become the bully. Damn. You are so upset by so many things, but you keep it all to yourself. How do you know that? If I keep it all to myself. I think there's a feeling that's just an aura. Mm. Yeah. Damn, yeah. bro. Dark. <laughs> Broken sense is key. No one knows what's really going on inside your head, but you take the easiest route and put a fake smile on and walk around like you have a life to envy. But deep down inside, you're hurting. There's Damn. more going on than you even Golly. know. All things that slowly come bubbling up to the surface through your skin, they boil under the surface and fester until they finally burst with a shitty loaded comment or a passive aggressive outburst. Okay. <laughs> uh, I feel like I haven't known the real you for so many years. Does anyone know the real you? Do you know the real Damn, you? Damn, bro. Bars. Yeah. Finito. Bars. Are you leaving Smosh? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> there is a, lot, a lot to, to unpack, unpack in that last section. God man. damn. Yeah. I do not think you're a bad person. Okay. I think it was easier for me to say that you are a bad person. I don't do stream requests. To I do video requests. Not stream requests. I had conflated, I had come up with a whole bunch of narratives and ideas for all these things. It was like I was a conspiracy Unless I theorist. literally <laughs> say it, if it's <laughs> in the title, then your yes. Brain was. Right, yeah, you're trying to, I, I think that, I mean, we were so closed off and so uncommunicative that we could only guess what was going on in our heads. Yeah. And, or the only things you're hearing are like back channel stuff. Like, mm. oh, he said this thing, or he said that thing, you know. Actually, I don't think there was much of that, because I don't think you really I don't said think much I really, liked about that. I don't think I really talked that much shit. Yeah. I, I mean, I probably either. talked some shit about, like, your videos when you left Smosh, but. Ooh, yeah. Actually, I didn't hear about that. <laughs> <laughs> That'll um, be another video. No, I. God damn. Yeah, I mean. Oh, actually, no, you did talk shit to the. I meant reaction video requests, but I was on the work computer. <laughs> And the Facebook messages were there. Okay. When I opened the computer and the shit talking was right there. God damn. Yeah. Do you remember what it is? What what I said? Yeah, you were talking shit about me moving into a house with my ex. Yeah. yeah. Fair. Well, I mean, it is fair though. Fair. It is fair from the outside now that I'm not in it. Yeah. It's fair. Yeah. But I think I was hurt because I wish that you would have talked to me about it. We were like I I really yeah. I mean I do. Honestly. I don't I don't want to I don't want to like blow up other people's like lives. Yeah. But there was there was like a lot of stuff going on especially during that time that like I'm sure like the fissure began before that, but the when I think of like the the bad times, like what I would call like the dark ages of like our friendship the dark ages was during that time yeah and, and I, I think a rift definitely started there and then it was just like we couldn't we didn't have the communication skills and the vulnerability to be able to 
like recognize those issues and talk to each other about it. So instead, we just kind of stayed on. Look, bro, friends. what do I say to this? This is I already said it at the start. This isn't really a reaction. I'm just kind of watching it. Like this isn't yeah. a video that you go, oh, oh shit, oh my goodness, every few seconds too. And and hearing play an FGL man. So the thing is that I feel like deep down I was feeling a lot of those same kind of like weird feelings about the place I was at with the person I was with and hearing it from or seeing you say it to someone else in a context that wasn't directed at me I think when I saw those messages I almost wanted to prove that you were wrong mm. like because it wasn't directly to me and I do feel like if we had communicated if we did have a really close relationship and you were able to transparently communicate with me it could have saved me hardship in the sense that I would have taken what you said at face value, like mm. from a place knowing that you were tr just that you wanted the best. I mean, being yeah. a regular. But when I saw you in that context, it was like you didn't want the best for me, and yeah. that you looked down on me. Yeah, I mean, when I think back to those times, like there there was things I was really frustrated about, but it was from what I what I was seeing, like I. I was, I, I mean, like, I, I can't say that I was, like, looking out for you, but, like, I did have, Zeiss. like, I, I wanted to see you in a place that was better. I didn't like the way, I didn't like the direction it was going, but it was also, like, none of my business. Yeah, and if we were really close friends, it kind of would have been your business. You know what I mean? Like, it, well, if you wanted to step in and, and really I, yeah. look out for me and say, hey, I want the best for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing, you know? yeah, nothing is going to, yeah. It, it doesn't, nothing's going to change if it's like done behind your back. Yeah, exactly. And because yeah. it didn't feel like you wanted the best for me, Damn, I'm I, feel like I had to mid. prove oh my to myself <laughs> that I was doing the right thing or that I wasn't yeah. totally fucking up my life. Yeah, crazy. Yeah. Crazy times. I can't believe we got out of that time. I can't believe we're here now. Yeah, that, I didn't. Yeah, that was ugh. Dark, <laughs> dark ages. Very dark, dark ages. ages. Yeah, there was no communication and yeah. around. And then from there, like, I don't think there was any way. Like, practices. well, there was a way to repair it. We just didn't have the tools. And I think that it was it put too much of a threat on Smosh. Yeah. And we said, you know, Smosh is super important to us, and we have so many people. It is peak Smosh. Um, you know, working with and for us, and so many fans mm -hmm. excited about what we do. We need to preserve that. And yeah. That's the priority. All right, I'm done with FGO for now. Yeah. Well, this wasn't this. Uh, we still got. I, I expected really ten minutes. Bad. I'll actually um, pay attention. Yeah, there's some stuff in there, but I mean, I it doesn't. This doesn't change. To me, it doesn't change anything. Like, I mean, it's. I I don't think anyone cares enough that you said this we, is a peak smosh. We really misunderstood each other and didn't treat each other in the way that friends should have treated each other. And yeah. I think and I think, you know, going forward I mean not going forward from here, I think we've already <laughs> I think we're already being we're being much better yeah. uh, with each other. I feel really good about this being <laughs> read because yeah. I feel like there was so much that was Unsaid at the time, and even though you and I have kind of hashed everything out already, mm -hmm. it was nice for you to get a peek into where I was mm -hmm. at at the time. I do think that there is a small part of me because it was it was kind of I don't want to say traumatizing, like it was, uh, but it mm -hmm. was such a long period of time of like l little things that felt like it was tearing me apart for so long that I think a part of me still is like a little scared of mm -hmm. us of mm -hmm. us not communicating. Yeah. So I think there's a part of me that's like mm. really wants to make sure, and I might uh, be tempted to overanalyze if it feels like there's not communication happening. Mm. So I think this is good, and okay. I think uh, you know this can invite us both ways to make sure that there's constantly communication happening, and if it feels like there's something not being said, that we'll just be clear about that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And um, I forgive you. Oh, I didn't really watch Smosh games. I forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, no, yeah. I just and, watched and, you know, Smosh. Even if this Bro, was I didn't have internet. Really damaging you know, like, in any way. It random. Yeah, that's all I really Actually, there really was like a, yeah. like a uh, three month period where we had uh, my brother, I don't remember, he had a laptop for some sort of schooling. 
And that's when we watched all of our Smosh on that laptop, because I had internet for a bit, so that was lit. Wait, did, do you, I mean, it doesn't feel like it really, like, because some people are very concerned. <laughs> you know, some some of the viewers, some of the commenters, yeah. when they found out I was going to read this, they were very concerned. Yeah, but they didn't know it was in there. Yeah. Yeah. But you feel you feel great. I feel like the the people that both of us oh, were. Oh yeah, McDonald's Wi Fi. Yeah. It's me like, and my brother, bro. We used to walk I mean, to McDonald's like, and stay there all day using that McDonald's Wi Fi, up until like the age of fifteen. Yeah, it, we're both different people. And I feel like this, you know, does sum up why we did need those six years apart mm -hmm. because it's so hard to to like break the ice and mm -hmm. make us both feel comfortable coming together. Yeah, I had those multiple attempts of opening up, but yeah. because you didn't know what to expect, you didn't. Mm. No, I just it just came back with suspicion. Yeah, exactly. Like I think Facts. I think we nah, day knows. Day knows. I used to download Vanos videos on Wi-Fi onto my phone and we'd watch them on the way to school. Liddy. Absolutely Liddy. Mm -hmm. Um and just kind of like grow separately and then come back. Yeah, and later. we can both yeah. trust each Hell other it. And intentions when we saw yeah, totally. where the other person was in their life at the time that we reconnected. Absolutely, yeah. I had I had like when we when we got watched the same five Van Os videos, I had like zero suspicion of like, oh, is this, are there ulterior motives? Because like yeah. at that point we were just like so far along in the in the things that we were doing mm -hmm. that this is yeah, nice though I, watching I, them talk. I felt like my my walls were down. Same, yeah. and I think part of it is that we had success in our personal lives and yeah. we had success in our professional lives. You know, Smosh was going well. I had my own. Thing going on on the side so it felt like there wasn't really any need to be defensive anymore yeah yeah, yeah. um well anthony i oh, have yeah. to tell you you did tell oh me. no he's gonna show him his dick i have something for you to read i wrote something as well <laughs> i knew this day was coming so and I know that I've wronged you in the past, and I do apologize for that. I apologize. I don't believe I, a single thing you're saying no, right I, now. I, this yeah. is a bit. <laughs> what? It's not okay. okay. Okay, you're being you're being very genuine. I apologize for the way that I made you feel. I apologize for casting JK. Uh, judgment. Shows his penis. Um, but I feel like these words aren't enough. Oh no. So. He's gonna sing him a song. I wrote my own journal. Oh yeah. Um, oh. However, I kind of ran out of time, so I had uh, AI do the apologize. Oh my oh. goodness. Okay. Okay. <laughs> put this under lock and key. Yep. In your unicorn diary. Yes. Okay. Okay. It's very secret. Oh, it's very. It's kept under. Yeah. The toughest. I was on kind of a time crunch, so okay. AI kind of like, I give it the parameters. Okay. And, okay. okay. Tickets so. to Barbie would be um, nice. It says, um, hey, Anthony, I hope this letter finds you with a smile on your face. If not, well, I have a confession to make. I've been the clown instead of the best friend lately, and for that, I owe you the funniest apology of all. Hey, time. animated, so what's brace up? Brace yourself for a wild ride. First off, I apologize for breaking a promise, buddy. It's like promising to share my last slice of pizza. You know the anime, and dude? It like a famished T Rex. SMH. I assure you, I hey, yes, kind of got bars. I'm not gonna on, lie. I'll keep my pizza eating promises intact. You know, I messed up big time by not being there for you when you needed me. Picture this I was supposed to be your backup dancer in that embarrassing karaoke performance. How long's the end? Now? Here, I'll stop. We'll count to 10. I don't know how long it is. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi. Sup? No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know the name of the fucking goats. They Matthew are you grooving solo. It's a dance move. That's the performance, but I chickened out and left you grooving solo. It's a Damn. dance move. It's hard to forgive, but I'm ready to bust some moves and make it up to you. AI's got Riz, you know. It's a metaphor. This, yeah, yeah. I, I see where you're going. Yeah. Oh, the times I spoke ill of you behind your back. Imagine if I ever get canceled, to be a I'm writing my shit with AI. But instead of the usual my apology. Dummy, I use our friendship as my puppet. Ooh. Damn, that is some good. Uh, That's a metaphor. Metaphor. <laughs>
It was a terrible act, and I promised never to unleash my wannabe like I said, I, skills. I didn't really have internet for that. Again. I watched like five videos in my life this, this as a kid. Those teeth. <laughs> exactly. Remember yeah. all those times I ignored your calls and messages? It's like playing hide and seek, but I decided to be the master of hide and completely forget about the secret. Was it was this AI fucking like kids uh like kids rated Moist Critical? Like all the metaphors that Moist Critical does, but they're for kids. It's not a song, I don't want it. Not wrong. I would have liked the song. Apologies for You gotta being... pull out the ukulele. The toxic gossip train. Uh, where we do things. I don't remember the fucking song. Man. of friendship. But I promise to be more present and responsive moving forward. As for that shocking thing I did to your bed. What? Brace yourself for the truth, my friend. In a moment of misguided creativity, I turned your bed into a makeshift bouncy castle. Oh, I thought you were say like and feathers, creating a fluffy disaster what, what zone. I, thought. I never intended to leave you with the bed fit for a circus, and I'm more than willing to. Cool, the you clown metaphors. Oh my goodness. Former glory. Now let's bring some literary flair to this apology, shall we? Shakespeare himself once wrote, "Sorry seems to be the hardest word." Elton John, uh, I, I mean, from, from go, the, play, Elton John. The, the Lion King. So let's embrace the absurdity and admit that <laughs> yeah. even Bard knew how tricky apologies can be. Speaking of movies, let's not forget James Cameron's masterpiece, Titanic. I had a sequel recently, Titan. The AI. Mm. <laughs> Picture me saying, I'm sorry. Anthony, but I can't promise you a ride on a sinking ship. However, I can offer you a boatload of laughter and memorable adventures. Ooh, that's a good one. Friendship afloat, shall we? These metaphors go deep. Very good, very good. And now let's sprinkle some multilingual laughter. Ooh. English, I'm really, really sorry, mate. Spanish. Okay. Lo siento mucho, amigo. Okay. Well, je suis désolé, mon ami. German. They could be making up shit and I wouldn't know. Is to, mm, is, I can't even think of a German accent right now. Scheiße. Scheiße. Es tut mir leid. Kumpel. Japanese. Oh, goodness. Gomen nasai. Gomen nasai tomodachi. Italian. Mi scuso tanto, amico. To make it up to you. I'm not gonna lie, I'm tempted to end stream on this. This is a great note to end on. Here are five ways I could bring laughter back into our lives. Organize a comedy movie marathon with all our favorite hilarious films. Attend Dude. a comedy show or improv performance <laughs> together. Create a goofy photo album documenting our wacky adventures. <laughs> I need a goofy a photo album. Showcasing our unique friendship. Plan a I always thought Ian was gay. Come to find out it's just brotherly love. That's surprising because Anthony was the one that I always saw people thinking was gay. And then they... Yo, know, why are we, why do we, like, why are people so, I don't know, people are, well, I don't know. Like, I get people be curious about their favorite video creators, but people, people are a little bit too, a little too weird about it. Wacky adventures. Like, right whose business is it, man? Showcasing our unique friendship. Playing True. a prank day where we. Nothing really gay about it. And even if they do make out, they got socks on, they're good, you know. Play harmless jokes on each other and laugh until our sides hurt. Anthony. Yeah. My hope is that we can turn our missteps into hilarious memories and revive our Oh my friendship. goodness! Oh my goodness, I gotta pull it up now that you mention it. Oh my goodness. It's gay to smoke. Oh! That makes sense. This video is so good. Are they smoking? Or are they gay? It's a gay to smoke. I'm not gonna lie. Back when uh, the LGBT was not as, uh, I guess, accepted back in the day, that, that was probably a very, uh, like, that ad probably worked quite well. Kids were probably like, oh no. <laughs> Nowadays, they're like, good. Right on. Laughter filled spirit. I miss the crazy thing. escapades and the uncontrollable laughter we used to share. Let's embark on a journey of laughter and forgiveness and become best friends once again. Damn. With heartfelt laughter and a promise to be the best friend you deserve. Your name.
Oh, it's supposed to be it's supposed to say Ian. Oh, you. I was supposed oh. to say your name. I forgot to tell the AI, AI that part. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? I accept your apology with all the incredible metaphors in here. I, I understood the sinking ship metaphor. I mm. kind of understood the devouring famished hero. I think I still am going to play Project Sekai. It's literally my title. I don't want to be a false advertiser. I forgive you. <laughs> and you're welcome. Should we hug it out? Sure. Hug it out. Hug it out. Damn, bro, they're doing back. the ass in this video. Doing this again. Needs to be studied. Well, well I feel better for yeah. sure. Do you guys feel good about forcing us to do this? Absolutely forced. Did. I can't believe you liked the video that many times. Forced. It forced me to do something absolutely against my will that I did not volunteer in my on my own behalf. And if you give this video 250,000 likes. <laughs> oh, no. I'm gonna. There we go. I'm just gonna if this video this gets one million likes. Okay. okay. Within the next. Not same. Months. Okay. The goats are back. We will look at each other's penises. Uh, yes. This one. Yes. Okay. For the first time ever. Penis. I don't want to. That'd be so <laughs> funny. I just don't, I'm so confident this video is not getting a million likes. Don't say it. I feel like this video is not getting Bro, a million likes. You realize it's for the rest of life, though. Like, it could be 25 years from now. You finally likes? get a million likes. So I'm throwing that out. You guys gotta make the comeback to show each other your penises. It's already at 235,000 likes, bro. We didn't shake on it. <laughs> Bye. I cannot believe this. Shout out to Smosh, man. Micro PP video was traumatizing. Took it eight. Micro penis video. You saw a micro. When did you watch a micro penis video? Why are you watching micro penis videos? If that's your thing, I'm not gonna judge. I'm just, I'm just questioning. You know, I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. What are we talking about? <laughs> um, but yeah, shout out to Ian and Anthony. Shout out to Smosh. Oh, they made a video about micro penis. I ain't see that personally. But yeah, shout out to Smosh. We're gonna play Project Second. <laughs>